Hey there, Sergio Gomez here and I want to welcome to my video blog and I'm working here in my studio today and I'm working on some uh, small plates on glass which I'm having a great time with and I wanted to really quickly talk about uh, what's the best place to have your studio at. Uh, this is something I was thinking about this morning and said well maybe I'm going to share that with some friends here or through the video. So over the years in my art career I have had my studio in my garage, in my basement, away from home, big studio, small studio, uh, you name it. And it has been uh, really interesting to, for me to, over the years, to figure out what's the best place for me to have a studio. And so if that's you, if you may be wondering what's the best place to have your studio, that's something that you can think about. That's definitely something that you should uh, consider as your career progresses. So uh, there's not an easy answer. It all depends what kind of work you do as well. And it all depends, in my, in my mind, it all depends about what stage you are at in your art career. You know, where you are in your art career and what stage of life you are in. I think that's the most important part of it. For example, when I had small kids, uh, it was really hard for me to have a studio at home. Why? Because they would walk in the studio, they touch my stuff, it was hard to concentrate and it was just almost impossible. So I had to, you know, go away from home to be able to work and do the work that I had to do as an artist. Now that my kids are teenagers, you know, it's a, it's a completely different story. Now I really enjoy walking in a space like this at home uh, where I can come in and out and do the work that I need to do. So you gotta think about what stage you are in, uh, in life. You know, when I first got out of school and I needed space, hey, I first place that I found was my garage. It was just an ugly small looking garage, but that was my space, that was my studio, that's what I did most of my work. So the first thing I want to recommend also is, you know, don't worry about what people think. It's not about how your studio looks like, how fancy it is, how awesome it is. It's about, you know, the work that you put out. It's about what happens inside the studio that matters, not really how it looks like. Who cares, you know, how it looks like? Who cares if the Instagrams are not as pretty as the next artist uh, who has a really awesome studio? You know, it's about the work that comes out of the studio that matters. That's really what's important. So. Don't feel less of an artist because you're working at home or because you're working in your garage or in your basement or in a small room or in your cousin's room. You know, don't feel less of an artist because of that. It's about the work that happens inside the studio that really makes the difference, that what really matters. That's what I have learned. That's the, the main lesson I have learned over the years, uh, having all kinds of studio spaces. Um, now, for example, I'm here in my home. This is my home studio where I can do a lot of this small work that I love to do. I, I can walk in here at any time of the day or night and just get to work, get stuff done. I also have a much larger studio uh, at the Joby Art Center where I'm part of a larger community of artists and there I love to do the larger work that I have. So again, in my stage, this stage in my life, now that my kids are grown up, I enjoy having this place in my home where I can come in and do a lot of the work and also be able to walk away from home when I need to and do some of the larger work. In fact, for next year I have uh, some uh, solo exhibitions that need to have large work that I need to be creating. So I'm, on, I'm in the process right now of expanding a little bit more my space away from home so that I can get the work done. So you have to look at where you're at. You know, don't worry about what people think uh, of where your studio's at. You know, who cares? You know, who cares what people think? What matters is what comes out of the studio that's most important. If you cannot get beautiful Instagram pictures in your studio, so be it. So what? It's about the work that comes out. So. That's the, the main advice I want to give you. Look at where you are in your stage of life. Don't worry about what people think. Think about the work. That's really the best advice I can give you when it comes to um, having a studio that fits your needs, not everybody else's uh, wishes or, or ideas of what an artist should look like or what an artist studio should be about. It's what you make in it that really matters. So hope that helps you. You know, if you're working right now at your studio and you feel sad about that or don't feel good about it, don't worry about it. Do your best work there. Do amazing work there. When things get better, if you can get a bigger space because that's what you may need, then that's awesome. If, this, if the garage works for you and that's your space, that's the place when you walk in and you feel like you are in your zone, then that's your space. You know, why, uh, why going somewhere else if that's where you make your best work? So think about that, you know, make it work. Uh, under the circumstances that you're in and that's the best advice I can give you. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Sergio Gomez Projects on Twitter at Sergio Gomez Art and if you want to see some of my art just uh, find me on artsy.net.
Thanks for watching. See you later.